In our first video, we talked about how you can crush your backlog. Because some of you enjoy that video so much, I wanted to make a part two for this one. And if you enjoy more and you want to know more, feel free to let me know in the comments section below. But without further ado, I will help you out by giving you 10 tips on how to crush your backlog. So let's get, get, get started. Before we get into the list, I want to say welcome to the channel. My name is Vashral and this is a tell play guide video. If you enjoy this kind of content, please let me know because I really enjoy making these and I would like to hear from you. Of course, if you haven't watched the first part, feel free to pause the video, go and watch that one. I will put it in the description below as well. It's going to pop on on the screen so that you don't miss it out and get all the important information so that you can crush your backlog and have a a much more organized gaming experience so tip number one is play the games that you can this has been one of the things that i struggled with because i didn't know that i could play some of the games that my pc was able to handle and i would just simply leave them for another time to the point that i build up quite a big backlog so if you have a pc that maybe is not capable of running every single game sort out the games that you have and are capable of running on your system and play those so that you don't have to wait until you upgrade your computer and also if you cannot play them on the higher settings play them on lower settings that doesn't mean that it's gonna ruin your entire experience i know sometimes it might suck but oftentimes you miss out some great games just because your system cannot run on the higher settings try to look at them as best as you can and just enjoy the story or the gameplay of it and don't worry so much of how necessarily the game looks of course if the game run extremely poorly then yes i would shove it in the backlog and move on to the next one that you can actually play moving next to number two create a backlog list pretty much make a comprehensive list of all the games in your backlog to give you a clear overview of what you need to tackle so that would be to sort them out on completed not completed what is your true backlog because oftentimes you will find yourself gathering quite a large amount of games but not all of them you're gonna be able to play and not all of them you're gonna want to play so sort out those things that should be probably your main priority before you start anything else and then move to the next third on our list set realistic goals start by understanding that you may not be able to complete all the games in your backlog and that is okay prioritizing what interests you the most is the key so don't stress yourself if you can cannot complete a multiplayer game that you probably had it on your backlog or something that is very difficult like a souls-like or roguelike kind of game that really take a lot of time or maybe a strategy game like a civilization where you have to spend thousands and thousands of hours in order for you to complete it so take your time enjoy the process because that's the most important thing and set as I said realistic goals on number four prioritize games and what do I mean by this sort the list by interest, release date, or any kind of criteria that matter to you. Start with the games you're most excited about and go from there. As you may have seen in this list, I try to talk about organizing yourself because it's the most important thing in getting straight what you want to do and what you don't want to do. When you have a clear idea of what is your objective, you're going to have an easier time tackling your backlog. On number five, set aside dedicated gaming time. Allocate specific time frames for gaming making it a regular part of your schedule i know it sounds a little bit tedious but trust me if you spend a couple of hours every single day to tackle your backlog eventually you're gonna chip bit by bit from it on number six be selective with new releases basically what i'm saying is prioritize new games that genuinely excite you instead of feeling compelled to play every single latest release i personally don't struggle with this some games do excite me like Starfield or Hogwarts Legacy or Mortal Kombat 1 or Assassin's Creed Mirage but there's other games that are coming this year and there's a lot of them and I wasn't able to tackle all of them so I set 
set a realistic goal that I will play just the ones that I'm excited about and the rest I will leave them for another time. Maybe after I've chipped down my backlog of games then I can go and return to those games that maybe sparked a little bit of interest and complete them then. Now if you play on other kind of consoles or platforms for number seven I would say delegate games to different platforms. Basically what I mean is allocate specific games to different platforms based on the convenience or preferences such as the Steam Deck games or Switch games something that feels great being handheld or feels great playing on a console. Of course if you don't have this kind of luxury and you prefer to play them on the same system let's say you own a PlayStation there's so many other ways that you can play it still using the PlayStation ecosystem or if you're playing on Steam you have Steam Deck so you can do that and play those games. For me Steam Deck is a great indie or all type of games that I want to play that feel great when they're handheld or they feel great using a controller and I allocate just games for that because I want to use that and not just be in front of my computer all the time. Tip number eight is to avoid distractions. Simply put minimize distractions like social media, notifications or other obligations during your dedicated gaming time. This goes hand in hand with tip number five but keep in mind that oftentimes we can get distracted especially if you're playing a game that requires a lot of loading so you will have your mobile that will probably distract you put your mobile away put any kind of device that will be distracting you away as far as you can and just focus playing the games another distraction it can be from having too many monitors i've heard a lot of people playing with multiple monitors and on one side they have chats or they're watching a youtube video while they're gaming that's not a really productive way and it will just simply distract you from focusing on the game absorbing the story and enjoying the narrative tip number nine and this is something i do every single day when i'm at work is to listen to gaming podcasts or watch gameplay videos immerse yourself in gaming content during your non-playing hours keeping excitement alive so either being up to date with gaming releases to podcasts about discussing about particular games that you're playing or watching videos that are giving you more tips on how you can enjoy the game and simply immersing yourself more and more in that world i like to listen to kind of funny games podcast this is something i listen during my work hours i get to do my job in the same time i get to find out new news about upcoming games and oftentimes i discover new games that i never heard about or i enrich my understanding of games and I appreciate them more and I get excited to go home and play my backlog. Other type of podcast that can help you out with games is to listen to game devs talking about how they made particular games. I have a particular podcast that talks about how games are made and their history about them and it's just much more interesting to know all about this because you have a better understanding and you just don't follow the same narrative you see online where people are complaining about particular things why games are like this or why they're having that kind of issues you get to be in the shoes of the creators when you play their games you're more likely to appreciate them and have a better time playing those games and tip number 10 is basically sell or trade the games that you own if a game no longer interests you consider selling or trading it to reduce your backlog and possibly earn extra money I know people who prefer to simply delete their games but I feel like that's kind of a waste of money and if you have a platform like playing on Xbox or PlayStation or Nintendo you get the chance to trade those CDs with other people sell them for example in UK you have CX where you can go and sell your game and get some money out of it or you can go on eBay or any other platform that you can trade your games with others maybe get something else after you finish the game sell it get a new one or you don't like it you tried it doesn't seem to be the type of game that you thought it would be just sell it don't worry so much if a game doesn't stick with you some games might be for you and some games just simply might not here's a bonus tip experiment with game emulation and virtual machines if you have older games in your backlog that may not run on modern systems consider using game emulators or virtual machines to recreate
create the original gaming experience. This allows you to play games from different eras and tick them out of your backlog. Now do know that some companies may not agree with emulation per se, but I think if you own the game and you're able to transform it into a ROM file, you'll be able to have no problem running that one. So it's all up to you however you want to do it, but I think some games such as old PC games that simply aren't available, you can find them on different websites like my abandonware or GOG where you can play them in that format. But if the experience is a little bit not up to par, for example, Metal Gear games aren't really that great on PC and for example, you want to play Metal Gear 4, the only way you can really play it at this point in time while I make this video is through emulation. So yeah, that is the only way, unfortunately for now, but hopefully Konami is going to bring that game to newer consoles and PC as they have brought again with the newest collection. So yeah, one single note I want to make is to remember that the purpose of your backlog is to enjoy your gaming experience at your own pace. So don't feel overwhelmed. Use the tips as a guideline to find a balanced approach to what works for you. I hope that this video helps you out in crushing your backlog. If you want to know more about this one, go and check our first video on crushing your backlog. And if you want me to make more, feel free to drop a comment below because I would like to make a part three. But if you guys don't want to, sure, I'm not going to make a part three. It's all up to you. Just let me know in the comments. If you like this video, supporting it with a like helps us tremendously. Not only to reach to other people who are trying to crush their backlog, but also reminds us that you enjoy this kind of videos. If you want to help us further, subscribe to our channel and turn on the bell notifications so that you're notified every time time we post something new, be it a news video, be it a guide video like this one or other gaming suggestions and lists that we normally make. That's all for today. My name is Vashal and this has been a Telplay guide video. Thank you very much for watching. As always, stay safe, take care and happy gaming.